We have spoken about regenerative economics, regenerative politics, regenerative technology. Now, at the end of the day, I think we should talk about regenerating the self. Because without the self, without me, without you, without he, without she, economics, politics, society, nature cannot exist or do not have relationship. So how we regenerate ourselves. So before I speak a little bit more about it, I would like to start with a short meditation. Because I think meditation is a very good way, particularly in the East we have developed, but now it's increasingly becoming very popular in the West as well. And a prayer is a kind of meditation. <clears throat> So I would like you to join me for a few minutes of meditation as a self-regeneration practice. First of all, right hand represents the world. The left hand represents the self. By bringing both palms together, so please bring your both palms together, we are bringing the world and the self together. And then let's bow to the universe in our humility. Let's bow to the earth. Let's bow to the sacred life and a sense of unity and a sense of humility and a sense of gratitude to life. Thank you. You can leave your hands now as, as you like. Uh, <clears throat> In our meditation, <clears throat> yeah, please close your eyes for a few minutes and breathe in. Breath, sustainer of life. Breathe out and then smile. Relax and let go. For self-regeneration, we need to let go of all expectations. For a little while, just let go of all expectations. Even expectation from Satish and his talk. Let go of all desires. Let go of all fear. Let go of all anxiety. Let go of all anger. Let go of ego. Let go of separation. And then breathe in. Take a deep breath. And then breathe out. Gently. Whole breath out. Then smile and relax and let go. And expand your heart and expand your mind to embrace the whole cosmos, cosmic consciousness. And feel that whole cosmos is our country. The whole planet Earth is our home. Nature is our nationality. And love is our religion. With that cosmic consciousness, breathe in and breathe out. Smile, relax, and let go. and feel that we are all related through our breath. All of us in this hall, 
all of us in this world, on this earth, humans, other than humans, we are all sustained by the same breath of life. And through our breath, we are all connected. We are all related. We are interbeings. All our thriving is mutual. All our work is co-creation. Let go of all dualities of right and wrong, good and bad, and transcend your consciousness and breathe in and breathe out and smile and then relax your body, relax your shoulders, relax your arms, relax the front and the back of your body, feel totally relaxed. Let go of all your burdens from your shoulders. Let go of all worries of your life. This is a moment to self-rejuvenate and self-regenerate and self-nourish and self-fulfill with joy, with gratitude. Breathe in. Breathe out. Smile, relax, and let go. Thank you. <clears throat> the word for meditation and medicine come from the same root in Latin. <clears throat> if you look in your Latin dictionary. So when you need something to regenerate and re re rejuvenate and make your body healthy, you take some medicine, particularly traditional medicine, herbal medicine, natural medicine, or even allopathic medicine to take care of your body. So in the same way, to rejuvenate your mind, rejuvenate your spirit, rejuvenate your soul, rejuvenate your heart. You give yourself some time. I'll sit down. I'll let go of all my business responsibilities for half an hour. I'll not worry about my stocks and shares. I'll not worry about my exams of, of teaching. I'll not worry about my children and wife and husband. I just rejuvenate myself. I am. And they cultivate the qualities which will feed your soul, feed your spirit. We feed our body with bread, pasta, rice, vegetables, fruit, so many wonderful things we feed our body. Do you feed your soul? Do you feed your heart? Not the throbbing heart only, the physical heart, but your spiritual heart. Do you feed something to your soul and spirit? You are not just your body. You are your body, of course, your beautiful body, your healthy body, your strong body, your walking body, your acting body, wonderful body. Of course, you must and you do and you must feed your body. Take care of your body. Rejuvenating your body is part of rejuvenating your soul, part of rejuvenating your spirit. But you are not just your body. You are life. You are throbbing, living, vibrant, energetic, imaginative, creative, loving, 
compassionate, kind soul. Don't forget your other part. Morning and evening, day and night, business, education, family, you are dealing with your body and bodily needs. But to rejuvenate and regenerate your spirit and yourself, you do both, body and soul, body and spirit, body and mind, body and consciousness. So what are the foods for the soul? The number one food is contentment. Contentment. Just imagine yourself. I have everything. How lucky, how fortunate I am. I have body. I have two wonderful eyes. I can see the world. Just imagine there are people who have no eyes. Can you feel that gratitude and contentment? To have two ears, two legs. As Christelle said, I'm grateful to have two legs. I walked from India to Pakistan, to Afghanistan, to Iran, to Azerbaijan, Armenia, Georgia, Russia, Moscow, Poland, Germany, Belgium, France, England, America, Japan. With th these two legs, I don't need aeroplane, I don't need train, I don't need car, I don't need motorways, I don't need autobahn. I can walk with these two legs around the world. Can I not feel contentment? Can I not feel gratitude? Feel happy. That's the food for your soul. And food, the happiness available to you. You don't have to go to any shopping mall to buy happiness. It's available to you within yourself. Can you help yourself? Please help yourself with the happiness, contentment. I have two legs. I have two hands. What a beautiful two hands I have that I can build a house. I can cook some food. I can plant a tree. I can grow herbs. I can paint a Picasso picture or Van Gogh picture or what is the Belgian artist? Marguerite. That apple, you can paint with your, apple, with your hands, apple. Apple on the mouth, like this. Marguerite's apple, so famous. He, I think he painted hundreds of apples. He can paint apples and I can plant apple trees. Both are equally feeding the soul. So, first thing to rejuvenate, regenerate and revive and, and, and make your soul and spirit strong and good and happy is to feel that sense of contentment and a sense of gratitude. I have children, I have a wife, I have a home, I have a job, I have life. Sun is shining for me. How lucky I am. The rain is coming for me and rejuvenating my soil. How lucky I am. The trees are giving me oxygen. How lucky I am. And they are taking my carbon. How lucky I am. Better I not emit too much carbon. That is rejuvenating the self. I can speak to you about economics. I can speak to you about politics. I can speak to you about technology. Of my own views. But this evening I want to remind you. In our western world. We need to have. Star we need to feed our soul. Our souls are starving. Our hearts are empty. So if we can do that, then that gratitude, that contentment will bring you joy and happiness. However much money you have, that will not make you happy. If you have one million, you will want five million. There are people with million and they want five million. You have 5 million, there are people with 5 million, they want 10 million, and they want 20 million, and they want 100 million, and they want more billions, and still they are not happy. They want more and more and more. And 
name, fame, prestige, power. That will not make you happy. Trump was president of the United States of America. Is he happy? Putin is, whatever he is, president of Russia. Is he happy? If you want name, fame, power, position, you always want more. How much you have is never enough. But joy in your heart, what we call ananda in Sanskrit, ananda. When a, a Hindu man or woman become a monk, their name is changed. And the name always ends with the word ananda. Ananda means joy. So, if you have a name yoga, there are some people have a name yoga. Yoga is not enough. You have to call him yoga nanda. What's good of doing yoga in the morning, yoga in the evening, yoga for the weekend, yoga every day, and you'd be miserable. What's the point of yoga? Yoga must be accompanied with contentment, with joy, with ananda, with gratitude. That's a self-regeneration. And when you have self-regenerated, then you will be able to regenerate your economy. And then you will have a regenerative agriculture. And then you have a regenerative business. And then you have a regenerative politics. A regenerative uh, uh, technology. Everything starts from you. You are the seed of regenerative culture. And, and, and every great tree comes from a seed. You cannot have an apple tree without a seed. You cannot have an oak without an acorn. You cannot have great regener regenerative economics and regenerative politics and regenerative technology and regenerative um, agriculture or any other thing unless you are the source of that regenerative energy. And re regenerative is not limitless. Regenerative has to be within the limit. Now, do you know your limit? Freedom is not possible without limit. Freedom is only good and regenerative and transform transformative and transmuting. And I like this word, this conference, transmutation uh, conference name and title is wonderful. It's a very multiple meaning word, but particularly the transmutation word was used by the alchemists. And it's a metaphor. Don't take a literal meaning, it's a metaphor. That base metal is transformed, transmuted into higher level of metal, into gold, into silver. Now, metaphorically, you can transform your, you can be the alchemist. You don't have to go to Prague to find an alchemist. You are an alchemist. Just imagine yourself. I am going to be an alchemist. And I'm going to transmute, I'm going to experience transmutation from a very mundane and very kind of uh, um, uh, unhappy and a kind of um, life that I live. I'm going to rise above, higher level that base metal into gold, higher level. We can be an alchemist, every one of us. Every one of us are very special. In order to regener regenerate yourself, you have to love yourself. Many of you are Christians. Jesus says, love thy neighbor as thyself. So the loving thyself is an essential part of loving your neighbor. How can you love your neighbor if you don't love yourself? Now, please ask yourself, am I loving myself? Ask that question. Am I loving myself? 
And loving is not ego. Ego is when I say, I love myself more than I love somebody else. I'm better than you. I'm more powerful than you. You have to obey my orders. That's ego. Love gives you humility. You love yourself. You appreciate yourself. And you be gratitude to have this life, this body. And you can rise above great heights to by being yourself. You don't have to be somebody else. You don't have to be Marguerite. You don't have to be Picasso. You don't have to be Van Gogh. You don't have to be Beethoven. You don't have to be Bach. You don't have to be Mahatma Gandhi. You don't have to be Mother Teresa. You can be just yourself. An artist is not a special kind of person. But every person is a special kind of artist. We are all Picasso in our own way. We are all Marguerite in our own way. We are all Beethoven and Bach and Shakespeare. We have to be ourselves and love ourselves. That is a self-rejuvenating, self-regenerating, self-enhancing um, uh, self, um, uh, 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 way to love yourself. This is why, as uh, Christelle said, my next book, which is coming out on the 14th of February, 2023, called Radical Love. Radical love is to start loving yourself. Appreciate yourself. And then, love is relationship. Love is relationship. Unconditional love. Unlimited love. Absolute love. Love not only when somebody loves me, I will love. You are to love, you are not seeking a lover. You are not looking for a lover. You are being a lover. The big difference. I want somebody to love me. That's different. I want to be a lover. I want to be a friend. Not I'm looking for friends. Why are you not my friend? I want to be a friend. So the moment you start with that love to yourself and then be who you are and love even those who might upset you. That's a great Christian, Christian teaching that we have forgotten in our modern world. Can you love even those who don't love you? Can you love to those who even upset you? Or even harm you? That's what I meditate on every day. I meditate that even if somebody upsets me, harms me, insults me, wishes harm to me, I still wish them wisdom and happiness. That's the kind of spiritual path. And spirituality is not religion. It's nothing to do with Christianity or Buddhism or Hinduism or temple or church or Quran or Bhagavad Gita or, uh, or the Bible or, Quran or anything like, like that. Spirituality is not in the temples. Spirituality is not in the church. Spirituality is not in the books. Spirituality is in your heart, in my heart, in our souls, in our spirit. The moment we can rejuvenate and regenerate and revive and re 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 renew, renewal of the self, that's a spiritual renewal. Then, I think, we can create a better economy. That renewed and reju rejuvenated and regenerated self with, with artistic mind, everyone being an artist, everyone being a spiritual person, with that strength of the soul, strength of the heart, strength of the spirit. We have a strong body, but our souls, our spirit, our minds also need to be strong equally. 
And sometimes your body can be weak, acceptable to me. I'm now 86. My body is not as strong as it used to be when I walk around the world, 15 countries, 8,000 miles without any money in my pocket. I was able to go through snow, through, uh, through a mountain, through deserts, through hunger, through thirst, through many problems. I could do it. Now, my body is not so strong. But my heart, my spirit, my soul are even stronger. So don't worry about your old age. I'm 86. Don't worry about your old age. You can have a very strong heart, very strong soul, very strong spirit, regenerative self. So once we have that strength, then I, can, I think we can make a beautiful world. As I said, what a beautiful world we have. The land, the animals, the birds, the insects, the butterflies. I celebrate. When I go, I live by the ocean. When I go to the sea, the ocean, I am amazed to see the ocean and the sky, and the rainbow, and people's skill, the craftsmanship, the art, the craft, beautiful buildings. This, 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 this building here that we are having this conference, what a beautiful building it is. It's built by hand, not by machine. In the days when there were no big machines, no JCBs, people built by hand. They built by Taj Mahal by hand. They built pyramids by hand. So we can create regenerative culture, regenerative agriculture. We can create regenerative economy and politics, everything. Why our politics is not regenerative? Because the people who are in politics do not have the regenerative soul. Why our economics is not regenerative? Because people who are leading the economic system, their self, their souls, their spirit, their mind, their consciousness are not regenerated. If a bad driver, you will not have a good dri driving experience. At the moment, we have a lot of bad drivers in economics and in politics. So we need Modi and Xi Jinping and Boris Johnson and Putin, and Biden, and all the kind of uh, champions of economics, Bill Gates, or whoever run the, run the Amazon, and whoever run. We need them to have a rejuvenated soul, love, full, heart full of love. Can you imagine that? But please don't wait for them to start. We have to start with ourselves. I cannot expect Modi in India to change before I change. We can start with ourselves and we can start today. The journey of thousand miles start with one step. When I started my 8,000 mile, 12,000 kilometer journey, step by step by step, every day, every day. You can climb the Mount Everest by step by step. There's no point in going on the Mount Everest by helicopter. That's no fun. When you go step by step, climb. So the, the, the uh, journey of transformation, journey of transmutation starts with ourselves. This is what Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change that you want to see in the world. But then we don't stop there, of course. Then we organize like transmutation conference. Communicate the change. Talk to your friends. Talk to your neighbors. Talk to your colleagues. Talk to your subordinates. Talk to your bosses. Whoever you are talking to. With love and rejuvenated heart and generosity of spirit, talk to them about this regenerative self. And how we can make a better world for ourselves, for our companies, for our business, for our industry, for our politics, for the whole world. We can make it. The capacity of humans to make miracles is enormous. 
Miracles don't happen. We make miracles. You and you and you and I and all of us can make miracles if we were determined to do it. Start with ourselves and communicate the change with others. We are communicating now. Whole day today we have been communicating. That's a good way. By writing books we communicate. By painting pictures. Marguerite communicated. Picasso communicated. Um, Vermeer communicated. Beethoven and Bach communicated. Mahatma Gandhi and Shakespeare communicated. Mother Teresa communicated. Speak your words to your neighbor. And don't think that, oh, they are difficult, they don't listen to me. Don't worry. Speak your words in such a way that they will open their heart. Your words have power. Your words have greater power than nuclear weapons, in my view. Nuclear weapons are useless. They can't be used. But the power of words, power of Mahatma Gandhi's words, when he called for independence movement, Hundreds of thousands of people went to jail. Power of words. He had no weapons. So please communicate with your friends. Not one day, but every day. With loving and generous words. Use the words, power of words. And then join others. Change, transformation, and transmutation will come when we join others. All our thriving is mutual. No one person can transform the world. We can do it together. Let's join together. See, transmutation conference is joining together. I am nearly finishing. <laughs> join together. A great river is made of many, many small tributaries. Small tributary, small tributary, small tributary join. And then it becomes a great river of Seine or Rhone or Thames or whatever river, Hudson, whatever river it is, Ganges. So I've given you three words at the end of my talk. Be the change that will be spreading. If you radiate the change, be the radiator. Be the change that communicate the change. And join others to change. And when we work together, we can transform the world and we can transmute the world. Thank you. <laughs> Christelle set a very big agenda for me to speak about. And uh, but I only could say a few words in 20 minutes. But uh, thank you for listening to me. Thank you for giving me the chance to speak. And, uh, and it has been a great joy and pleasure to be in this great conference. Thank you. Thank you very much.